Um, I feel good. I just, um, I, I, you know, I have to rewatch the performance. I don't think it was the greatest performance. Um, a lot of it was because of nerves. Right up until the point where I walked out into the arena, I was fine. I was up, ready to go. As I walked in from the, you know, the curtain to the cage, the adrenaline dump I had was just like, boof. I was like, man, you know what I mean? I felt like I'd done three rounds as I stepped in the cage, but I had to dig deep. Um, I, I've, I've got, I don't know, I have to have a look in the mirror to see how pretty I am, but I think I've got a couple of little marks. Um, I think this is some check and a kick, you know, so checking kicks does work because I'm limping pretty bad. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all good. Spitz looks like he was done in the second round. Are you surprised that he made it to a decision? Do, do you know... The thing is, normally, if, if you watch my fights back, I, I, I got a killer instinct. I go for the finish. Um, if I see a guy's hurt or whatever, I land those big punches. And, and, you know, my friends called me the hand because I hit people and knock them out, you know. I think, I, like I say, I have to, it was a bit blurry because he caught me a couple of times and rocked me. I think he caught me with a knee as well, getting up. But, um, yeah, he, he was, I felt like I could have finished him and I should have finished him. But, um you know, this is the UFC, man. I'm coming off the back of a loss. I, I, I sort of, I did held back a little bit because I didn't want to lose the fight. It's, we're heavyweights. If I rushed in on him and he just caught me once, bang. You know, it's, it's a cutthroat business and, and, and I, I just needed to secure this win, you know. I've got the win now, so now I can, the, the weight's off my shoulder, you know. I'm not sat on the back fence. Um, Better performance next time. I'll, I'll, I'll go back, look at my performance. I'll reevaluate, reevaluate it. That's a big word for me, by the way. And then, uh, and then, and then see where we're at with the coaches and stuff. But like I said, um, I'm, you know, the fans may slate it. I don't know. I have to watch it back. But the performance I give, I know personally, it wasn't the best performance. But I just had to dig deep and and just get the win, you know. And that's what I've done. I got the win, and and I will improve and I will get better and I, and uh. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm here to entertain the crowd, and hopefully I did, and, and, and carry on entertaining. So, so did you feel like your back was kind of against the wall that you had to win this fight? Was there a lot of pressure um, on you? Yeah, definitely. Oh, the pressure on me was unreal because my last performance wasn't the greatest performance. You know, I, I'm my own worst enemy. I'm the first guy to turn around and say, I've done well, or I'm, I'm the first guy to say that was rubbish. You know, I've had, it's funny, I've fought on big shows, you know, if you check my record, you see the big shows I've fought on. I've never really dealt with the nerves that I've dealt with with the UFC, the whole UFC concept, you know. My first fight, I was a bag of nerves. This fight, I was fine until I walked into the curve. But gradually, I am getting better. Next time, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just looking to improve and I'm looking to get better. So that, that's, that's the main thing, you know. As long as I learn from my mistakes and just keep getting better, that's, that's, all, that's, all, I'm, uh, that's all I'm looking to do. And entertain the crowd is what we get paid for. So hopefully, I keep entertaining. Is there any part of you that are, that's glad you went through the nerves to get them out of the way? <laughs> no, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wish I could just walk in there and like, have a holiday, you know? But I think, um, I think nerves are good, you know? I think the moment, as a fighter, the moment you lose those nerves, um, I, I think you may as well give up because then you don't care. Nerves show that you care, you know? And when you care, you worry. You, you know, you, you're not wor you, you, wor you worry about the situation, you know? You worry about what he's gonna throw and this, which is good, it keeps you alert. But, um, <clears throat> but then th there's a fine line between being nervous and then overly nervous, you know? And, uh, and I thought I was okay, but walk, just, just that walk from the curtain to the cage, it was, uh, you know, it was like, whoa, my legs started feeling a bit like jelly. But, you know, we pulled through. And um, we got the win, so that's all that matters. Is all I need to do now is just improve and, and just keep getting better and hopefully keep winning. When did the nerves fade? Did you feel it fade after you got in that? Sorry, sir? When did the nerves fade for you? Or did they start um, they, they didn't really fade at all, really. Um, the whole time I was in there, I was... I think going into this fight, um, if, I, if I am honest, going into this fight, I did feel like my back was against the wall, you know? I thought it was a do-or-die situation. So the whole time going into this fight, I was carrying, 
I was carrying weight on my shoulders, you know. Um, and I think, like I said, you look at you look at my record. I am a finisher. I do knock people out, you know. I think it's the first fight I've gone the distance out of my eleven wins previously, and nine of them were knockouts. So I do look to knock people out. And in those situations, you know, when I hit him and I see him wobbling and stuff, normally I'm on him like a like a wasp. I'm, I'm all over him and I, and, and I finish, you know. But this particular fight, I knew if I rush in and he hits me once, being heavyweight and, and, and I'm out, I thought, that's it, that's me out of the game. So, although I sort of held, I felt like I held back a little bit because I knew I was sort of two rounds up going into the third. So, so I, did, I did hold back a little bit because, like I said, um, I felt like my back was against the wall. So I, I knew I got the win in and, and I just wanted to secure my first UFC win, you know. Um, you know, so there's, you know, I've got another fight with the UFC, so let's uh, another couple of fights. So now, now we can start to relax and letting things flow a bit more. What mistakes do you think you made in the fight today? Without looking at the um, uh, what mistakes I make? Um, I think I overloaded a couple of times. You know, I, I sort of uh, a couple of times I've, I may have uh, looked for the big shot or something. You know, um, I knew I knew he had a good uh, clinching game, but. When he sort of clinched with me, he didn't feel that strong. I knew, I knew I had to cover his knees. So as he was clinching me, I had my hand in front of me because I knew he was he was good in the clinch with his knees and stuff. Um, Mistake-wise, the only thing I think mistake-wise, oh, there's a few things, but the main thing, maybe I did need to be a bit more aggressive at times. You know, I sort of held back. Like I said, I keep saying it. I felt like my back was against the wall, so I did hold back, um, especially when I had him rocked and I should have went for the should have went for the finish. You know what I mean? I could do with a big bonus. I should have went for it looking back on it, you know what I mean? I should have, boom, I should have had it. But, you know, I got the win, and that's all that matters, guys. I got the win, so, um, yeah. Do you have yeah. Any, any name in particular that you want to fight? Um, I have to, uh, there's a few names that I'd like to fight. Uh, like I said, and, and, and I have, I have stated it in interviews and that before, you know, I'm, 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 I get paid to fight people and, and, and I generally will fight anyone the UFC puts in front of me, no matter how big of a name they are. I'm not one of these guys who's going to pick my fights, blah, blah, blah. If they chuck someone in front of me, I will fight them straight away. As soon as my manager says to me, they've offered you, I'm like, yep, let's do it, let's do it, you know. I'm a fighter, I get paid to fight, so whoever the UFC want to put in front of me, I'll fight, you know. That's, that's what we do, we get paid to do, there's no bitching, whininess. I don't want to fight him because I'm not ready. I get paid to fight, so I'll fight anyone. It don't bother me. Cheers, guys. Thank you.